And so the race moves on, 153 kilometers today, the ninth stage from Castiglione to Della Pascea Ponderera. And Rolf Sorensen here, we haven't seen too much of him yet in this race, but he's coming back to form. Having to now work his way back in, he too having had injury, but the field hardly an attack all day. And the riders now beginning to think of a sprint finish once more. And Leone, no doubt, thinking of a third stage win as well. Well, the sun stays with us. Uh, this small group has a lead of just 13 seconds, but the field have watched them escape, and they might well bring them back before the finish. Sorensen is leading, among others here, Bjarni Rees and Michele Bartoli. Max Chandri is in here too, ex-Motorola, now on the GBMG team. And signaling here, number 116, is Eros Polly. No doubt the tallest man in the race. He's about six foot two, two or three inches tall. Former Olympic champion in the team time trial. I saw him first as an amateur ride in the 1988 Tour of Australia. Well, they've all come back together now. Girotto at the front there, but he'd be wiped away in this sort of company, I think, as the sprinters again will sharpen their legs. And watch out now, because the Jolly Boys are trying to get up there for Enrico and Leone once more to try and land the big sprint finish. Oh, there's a terrible pile up on the corner there as they swung round. Well, I don't know who caused that, but they took it wide, and Jan Zerader is going clear here. Leone's alongside him. Little bit of a melee as we look down to the finishing line, but he's tucked away on the left of our pictures. Zerada gets the stage win. Leone was just in the sprint there with Giovanni for Danza for third place. But just look at the bike here, because that's the bike of Eric van der Aarde, and there he is as he reclaims it. Well, that was the first time we've seen van der Aarde uh, try to contest the sprint. Let's watch it again now. Watch the left of your picture. Van der Aarde actually brushed off the shoulders. In fact, the rider that went down there was a GB, a ZG rather, and he, one or two fell down in sympathy before the pileup really did get underway. Well, luckily, nobody hurt. A spectacular picture is made, though. And again, two of the best sprinters in this race have taken the day's finish. Watch that as they go down. That's Van der Aarde, who's catapulted into the barriers, and one or two did pile in. Well, that really is a demonstration of a mass pileup. I've never quite seen one like that before. Zerada won the stage, though, ahead of Leone for Danza in third place, and Shaw taking fourth place for Motorola, Uvarab in fifth. So, Zerada scores his first win of the Giro d'Italia, the Slovakian rider. Overall, no change at all today. De Las Cuevas, Bugno, Indra, and Giovanetti, and Pavel Tonkov, another Russian rider there in eighth.